Scotland. Wild. Enduring. Older than time itself. Sculpted by the Norse gods and blessed by the fairy queens of the Black Mountains. Home to Iron Brew, deep fried Mars bars, and widely accepted as the birthplace of benefit fraud. It is here we embark upon our epic motorcycle conquest of the highlands, digesting the roads, views, and the culinary culture that is the North Coast 500. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Riders Digest. Welcome to Loch Ness. Yep, deep water. Yeah. Uh, apparently more water in here than uh, like the whole world or yeah, something. Yeah, the all the seas. All the seas in the yeah. world. Um, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, well here we are, and uh, these are the weapons that we're going to be initiating on this digestion of culture, food, culinary delight, and roads. So we've got the Desert X, uh, neither of us have ridden that, are they? Boothy went on the launch for oh, that. Oh, I thought you went on the launch. No, no, Boothy went on the launch for that. Uh, and we've got the Multistrada uh, Rally, V4 Rally. So you've ridden this, I haven't. Yeah, so you're going to jump on that first. It's an absolute banger. Yeah. It's an, I love that yeah. bike and, and I'm really looking forward to this as well. Yeah. So we thought we'd start off in Loch Ness um, and then uh, we're going to go up to Inverness, which is the official starting point of the North Coast 500. Mm. Uh, and then this time we're going clockwise. We're going to break the rules because uh, we're renegades. So, uh, I think you like that Are one. you normally supposed to go anti-clockwise, though? Apparently. Uh, well, yeah, and I've actually just picked up at the uh, local Marks and Spencers this very handy Collins North Coast 500 Pocket Map Guide. So, this is the ultimate guide. So, we're here next to uh, Lockhart Castle. So, we're going to go up to Inverness. Um, Meander around. So, this is the route of today. Carefully planned, and we're going to stay. So, this is the best bit We're today. going all the way around there, are we? All the way, all around here, and we're oh, going to wow. stop in... Uh, Charlestown in the Old Inn. Nice. Um, so that's our route today. It's 140 miles, and this bit here. This so as soon as we get to the west coast, all of these bits around here. This is the best bit. This is right, going to okay. be the best bit. Uh, so second day is a hundred, about 130 miles. We go from Charlestown, wiggle our way around the west coast to Scourry Moor. Right. Okay. Yes. Scourry Moor Hotel, which I think is the nicest hotel we're going to stay at. Right. Like Scouring Pad. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the third day is the shortest day, 96 miles, scoury all the way to the north coast uh, to Thurso. You can see that there, Thurso. That does, it doesn't look like, it looks longer. That's 96 miles, that bit. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the final route. We, we're gonna go, we've got to go to John O'Groats. We definitely. We? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. John O'Groats okay. for sun, sunrise, I think. Okay, nice. Rises in the east, sets in the west, so. Uh, and then smash it down there and eat yeah. some uh, culinary sausage and yeah. haggis. I definitely want to get some haggis on this trip. Yeah, I'm not a massive haggis fan, mm. but I'll take some. Uh, I well, stop well, maybe in... you haven't had the right haggis. It's very I'm important. I want to stop in Helmsdale. Helms Deep. Yeah, Helmsdale. Helmsdale. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. East Helmsdale. Helmsdale. Gandalf the White will come and save us. Mm. Right. Right, well, let's go and um, jump on these steeds. I'll pack my map up and put it in my handy little map pocket on my fancy new RST threads and uh, off we go. Is that right? <laughs> I mean Scotland is generally quite empty but this road has been quite busy so I'm quite looking forward to getting out into the wilderness a little bit more and away from people. Yeah this is the A9 so it is, an, is, a, is a very busy area although I will say the North Coast 500 
there, a lot of it is a roads but they're much sort of narrower and slower uh certainly the west coast but and but it is going to be busy it's holiday time so it's going to be full of italians and french people uh i love italians and french people but um no you don't so we've just got to put up with the general you know this is life this is life on the road this is um what we're going to show you the experience from your armchair it's not all uh picture skew views oh he's off he's off so yeah unfortunately on on holiday travels you do have to put up with other people i mean that's just it's like instagram versus reality isn't it that's just the way life is sometimes but let's do our best to get away from them let's go adventuring let's go adventuring yeah 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 so we're gonna have a nice family friendly video series adventure yes. yeah yeah i think the uh, this desert x will come into its own when we get into the, the nagery stuff I, I definitely want to do a river crossing at some point hey, let's get to inverness and uh and really start the north coast 500 let's do it well this is it we're leaving inverness um i mean the, the first bit is a bit guff we're just sort of on quite major a roads and it's not very nice but i mean look this is still much nicer than uh, the stuff we got back where we live but yeah and it's much nicer than sitting at work I'm going to put the heated grips on, I think. Are you kidding? No. Look, there's nothing wrong with a bit of comfort. How'd you do it? It's 19 degrees, oh. man. Oh, we're just starting to just to tease our way into the the sexiness of the North Coast yeah. 500. Uh, behind, right behind this the lorry. Romanian lorry. Yeah. 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 Where's he from? He's, just, he's Hispanic, actually. Oh. Hola. But he has, Hola, but he has got a Schmitz car ball, cargo ball. So... Uh, and he did just overtake a Honda yeah. Jazz. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't have the power for that, I'm afraid. That V4 Multistrada is ridiculously fast. And this, this is a, it's a pretty quick bike, but it's nothing compared to that. Oh, this is it, mate. Oh, this is exactly what I needed in my life, in our lives. Oh. Oh, he's on it. This bike is so nimble that it, looks it doesn't... It. <laughs> it does that thing where you know when you turn into a corner and it just turns too quick and you have yeah. to sort of lift it up because you're got you it's like oh my god not that great above 60 70 there's quite a lot of turbulence but what for sort of blasting nagery back lanes this is an absolute beast how's the old v4s there mate oh mate i like this a lot i like this a lot it's um it's yeah it's i mean look it's not it's not massively different to the Multistrada V4, the standard one, but you know the tank is obviously its, uh, its, it's biggest ally, isn't it? And our biggest ally. Uh, that's the only thing. I mean, obviously, the, what's your range, Chris? What's your what's your claim range? Uh, I've got 170 miles left. Oh, well, I've got 323. Well, <laughs> there you go. Uh, but we have to do. We have to be slightly careful about about planning routes and stuff on the North Coast 500, obviously, because. Uh, it, certainly on the highlands on the west coast as you go further up there's not a, a massive amount you've got to be quite careful oh boys yay, yay. that looks so good you look that looks so good mate honestly it's not the prettiest what's down there oh stopping oh wow yeah yeah, yeah. A, little, huh. a little dogging spot should we try and go down there what's down there i don't know oh you lead the way with the uh with the, the nimble one the Nobblies. The Nobblies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is lovely. I mean, there's definitely some dirty shenanigans going on here, isn't there? <laughs> well, there's going to be another one in a minute. <laughs> Big bikes like this, you've got to think about how you're going to get out of situations. So <laughs> we had to just take a minute. Hang on, how are we going to get out of here? Full lock, full lock, mate. Go, I'd go further up into the corner. Further up. That's it. That's it, you've got about a metre and a half. You have loads of room, loads of room. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. I mean, you're making a meal of it, but... <laughs> Watch out for the pannier. That was a proper adventure, Dad, three-point turn. Come back, yeah, that's it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mate, oh, we're, God. We're, oh, oh, oh. Fucking with the front's <laughs> locked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh mate, it's a Dom for sack. That's the thing with the little nimble thing like this. It's uh, it's brilliant. Oh, 
Ready? Oh, ding dongs like that. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I just got hit in the face by a bee. Right, so we're, we're now off. Uh, we're going to turn off to go slightly south down towards and um, get out into the wilds and experience the adventure. Woo! Adventure! You! Yeah! Ah! 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 Our adventuring spirit left Gondor behind and pushed us onward along the Dimholt Road toward the Black Mountains. Our trusty Nazgul steeds ferried us through some of the most breathtaking scenery ever to be witnessed via motorcycle. The beauty of this place is unrivaled across the UK and Time Out voted it as 2014's best fondue north of Bradford. Oh my word. Well, that's a, that's a pretty special sight. Oh, and the sun's poking out. Just oh, say hello. Get your sun out. <laughs> get your, oh. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Mate. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know, like how can water do, give me this emotion and this, I don't know, it's, it's bizarre. Yeah. Maybe there's like a aquatic sexual deviance uh, in yeah. your past life. Maybe you were yeah. like a trout. Um, and you just <laughs> you, you 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 long to spawn every time you see a uh, a lock. Do you know what the best thing about this is? There's no one here. There's no yeah, one no. here. Yeah. And with this bike, look at these potholes. I could just go straight through them. Look at this. Look at you. Look, look at you. Look at you. Look at it. You maniac. <laughs> you mad man. Look, 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 nothing. <laughs> that 21. It's a 21 inch front wheel, isn't it? Just yeah. absolutely suckers it up. Oh. Don't get this in Peckham, do you? Oh look, there's a little, some sort of little hut down here. And a little, on a, on a, on a, an, an orange tree. What is, the, what is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a berry tree. Blowing a bloody, ruddy bloody gale out here. Just wanted to come down to the water's front. Can I get down here? Oh. Look at this. Look at that tyre. Yeah, dip my foot in there. There you go. I've touched the water. Wow. No, oh, what an absolute... What the... What the... Uh, right on cue, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the single track part of the North Coast 500. I mean, I mean he didn't stop. He didn't stop for what that. What the like, hell? He, he, I, I thought I was close, and I looked in my mirror, and you were Mate. fucking. That was. Mate. Are you rolling? Uh, yeah. Are you rolling? I'm rolling. Oh, the joys of holiday. People who don't normally drive caravans and motorhomes. No, I think that guy. He was just, that guy, girl, whatever it was, was just, uh, just, just was like no. No, I hate motorcycles. I just went, I'm not giving way. What an idiot. See, they're actually going at a reasonable speed. Thank you. I'm going to go to the off-road section. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, boy! Because <laughs> it's the panniers that terrify you. Like, the bike can fit through, but then you're like, oh, am I about to get... Like, you do not want to be hit on the pannier, do you? And then flung off to the left. Oh, mate. Fling it. Oh. Are you getting another uh, emotion downstairs? Another, another, another Casey. That bike is a very handsome machine. That's like its, its dad, like a, a very suave, sophisticated Italian man that's slightly silver foxed around the sideburns, but beautifully handsome. And this is his young upstart son who's like a little nimble bit of a jack the lad, like a naughty little Italian man who's gonna uh, approach your girlfriend on a Saturday night and ask her to dance. We are really adventuring now. We are really adventuring, yeah. If the adventurometer was nearing 10, uh, when <laughs> yeah. up to 10, we'd be on eight. Yeah, quite like the old little train line there as well. I <laughs> love it, yeah. Whoa, that's a deep one. Whoa. I was gonna go in it. I thought better of it. Well, it's uh, half past one, Chris. I don't know about you, but I could eat a horse. Yeah, I mean, I've been snacking on our... Uh, I mean, 
they were they were for emergencies, but I've eaten all the emergency snacks. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I could definitely do with some local cuisine. And yeah. uh, we just saw a sign back there saying the Albatross Cafe is uh, near. Avian flu, bird flu. Oh, mate. brilliant! Well, it's a good job we're going to the Al Albatross Cafe then, isn't it? So uh, let's see what delights they've got. I mean, I uh, look. My ho my hopes aren't high. My, my my standards aren't high. I'm not expecting. I don't think Scottish cuisine is particularly. Uh, what's the word? Uh, Michelin. Michelin star. Is it? I mean, no. what have you got? You got Scotch egg. You got haggis. Is Scotch eggs even Scottish? I don't know. I think they're from uh, like Scotch, as in the place up north on the right, uh, northeast. Not 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 Scotland. I don't know. That looks, is, that, what, is that the what, albatross? Scotch corner. Isn't that like a yeah. motorway surf? No. Oh, shut up. Yeah. No. Is that a golf course? Oh, oh, I can do with a little. It is, mate. Just swing some bats. Yeah, a little pitch and putt. Cafe, next left. Okay, this looks right. There's people in it. It's this open. is it. Let's yeah. do it. Should I do a skip? Welcome to the Albatross Cafe. <laughs> oh, God. God's sake, Chris. This is Donald Trump's golf course, I think, according to the guidebook. It is. It is, yeah. Mel Gibson's a member here as well. And, and Sally, Sally Gunnell. Gunnell. <laughs> yeah. An artisan hot dog, no less. Hey, Thank you very oh, much. Sauces are on the big table and... Lovely. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. What have you got, Chris? Uh, I've gone for the artisan hot dog. Uh, what about yourself? I've gone for the albatross burger. Yeah. I mean, it's classic Scottish fare, really, mm. isn't it? Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to digest our food as we <laughs> digest the views. That was pleasant, wasn't it? It was. Uh, it was a, a, an honest meal. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was on the slightly pricey side. Um, it was very pricey. Thirteen pound ninety five for a burger. Thirteen pound ninety five for a hot dog. Yeah. But it was an artisan. Yeah. It was lots of food. Well presented. Lovely staff. Um, I'd say. Yeah. It's a captive market here. We're in the middle of nowhere. Gets a thumbs up from me. Okay, so uh, bike swapsies, uh, swapsy dopsies, and uh, let's see what we've. <laughs> oh, this feels light and lovely, doesn't it? It is lovely. It's really nice like to a, throw around, like a bogey. But I think this is. Uh, I think the the, the multi strada is going to be uh, a bit better for a long distance cruise. I'm looking forward for a bit of wind protection at higher speed. I could never get bored of this mate, this is just, oh, yeah, delish, delish. Pretty, pretty bloody lovely isn't it? I mean they should clean up the weed. Uh, three, two, one, let's do it. Oh god! <laughs> this is a, uh, there's, there's quite a lot more power in this isn't there? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The, 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 the Desert X is so agile. This this is a much smoother experience. This is definitely rally spec. This this is this feels like I'm on a rally bike. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I kind of wish I was on the X now. Ooh. X, X go, give, give it to you. It to you. <laughs> hey. oh wow. Yeah, I'm on the weapon of choice here, mate. You absolutely are. Yeah. What's going on? I can't see. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See, that's how drivers should behave. Thank you. Well, the bark this thing's got as well. Bob. It's first class navigation, first class viewing. Look at this, mate. Wow. What a lovely gorge. Get your gorge out. Open up your right. gorge. Let's have a look. This doesn't look like it, it should belong in the UK. It's so beautiful. I mean, apart from the massive iron oil thing, <laughs> but <laughs> but it just look at that.
Aragorn and Gimli navigated the twists and turns of the NC-500 towards Erebor and the Lonely Mountain, home to the ancient Dwarf Lord Kings and the fabled Nicola Sturgeon. I mean, it's like, it's, you've got to remember that this is the UK and you've got to pinch yourself and go, there are nice places in the UK to come and visit. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Look at it. And this is on a doorstep, sort of, big doorstep, but it's bloody, bloody lovely. Yeah, so this is the Apple Cross Pass, legendary uh, in the North Coast 500 loop. And uh, we're going to see some pretty amazing sights, so uh, be prepared, Chrissy, be prepared. Okay, I'm ready. Di digest it. Let's digest. Oh, man. All morning I've been on the fast roads on that. <laughs> <laughs> the Desert X, it makes you just want to drive off up there, doesn't it? It it's does. Wicked. I've got it. Mate, when that car pulled up earlier on, and I was like, no, don't worry, mate. I'm going to go off road. Don't worry about me. Yeah. It's got, it has this weird thing. Yeah, weird sort of self navigation to take you off road. Whoa! <laughs> 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 I mean, you can keep your Stelvio, can't you? Yeah, shove your Stelvio you, right up When you've got a road surface like this, eh? This is raw, <laughs> this is real. Yeah, we don't get pulled over and put in jail, I'm sure. Well, if you went more than 50 yeah. miles oh, yeah, an hour. Oh leave your door open, mate, that's really sensible. Oh, fucking oh, sugar Oh my god, we're adventuring. We're adventuring, guys. We're off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. It is like being in Switzerland. Just with nicer yeah. people, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's very um, eclectic, this pass, isn't it? It's like, it is what it is. Like, if yeah. you've got a superbike or something, forget coming here. You'd, you'd have a nightmare. Especially Absolutely behind these West people. I mean, just learn to drive, mate. Just bully your way forward, mate. Bully your way. Bully it. Oh, it's just a massive guff. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's let's get away from these people. Thanks for ruining everyone's day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get over? I mean, it, you can't get over there, can you? I guess is that are they just uninhabitable uh, rock islands? I don't know. I don't know. Because they I look, think we go we're going that way. It looks amazing. It's like something out of uh, Lord of the Rings. It does. It does. It's called the Apple Cross Pass because this is where the first ever apple was invented. And, yes. Um, yes. And, and the, the, the pears got really cross and angry at the apple because it was much better than them. Because let's face it, who likes pears? I mean, actually, oh. I like a nice pear. Oh! <laughs> Mate, it just doesn't look real, does it? It doesn't, no. <laughs> you could easily oh. get it wrong. You could easily get it wrong out here, couldn't you? Oh, easily. Like, th th this, isn't a, this isn't a road for showing off. No. Like, even in Switzerland, you, you don't get these rocky, craggy walls. You're just showing off now. <laughs> I'm showing off, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't erode the nobbles on that tyre. We'll need it later for the river crossing. Honestly, this is one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my life. Yeah, I mean, I thought the birth of my child was more beautiful, but whatever. <laughs> Were you there? I think I was outside having a fag. And that, that <laughs> Desert X, I'm, I'm really jealous that we've swapped now because that is made for this. Boothie said it was good. And look, look I trust Boothie. I value, I value his opinion, etc. But... I mean, in terms of a tool for the job, this is the perfect tool. Look at that, mate. That's why we came, isn't it? Oh. This whole thing's why we came. This is excellent. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, 
as I said before, it doesn't look real. It doesn't. It looks like something out of Lord of the Rings. It looks like some, like some sort of film set that that I've never seen before. It's just stunning. It's like EastEnders. Yeah, and Neighbours combined. Yeah. Doc Cotton and Harold Bishop are just yeah. over there on that vista. Yeah. Ripping each other apart. What are we doing now then, mate? Well, I think we've got another, what, how many miles to the next sort of point? Uh, only 9.9. .9. Uh, and then there's a big bridge we're going over across at some point. Oh, that one. Okay, yeah, I've seen a picture of that. Yeah. That was the first bridge ever built by the Normans, that one. It was, it was, yeah, in the uh, Roman times. Yeah, yeah, just sort of post-Jurassic. Yeah. Uh, I think Bob Geldof was involved as well. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Look at our little oh. Highland friends. Are they wild? No, they're not wild. No, I've got, they've got no. tags on them. She's quite fit, that one, though. Oh, little sheepy! Oh, he's got his waggling his tail. Oh, that one. oh he's happy. Oh. Oh, well, look oh, at the nuggets on that. Oh my god, this, this is, is amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? It's absolutely it's so nice. Mile upon I mile of amazingness. I didn't think it would be this sort of nagery and uh, wild. I thought it would be a bit more touristy. Yeah, I mean this is the this is the Nagari wild touristy Highland bit, the, de the you know desolate and barren, so to speak, natural. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean it's got it all. Could you live here? Could you live in one of these? Yeah. Could you? Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. I mean, fuck, of course you can. Look at it. Look at it. All right, chill out. Look at it. I mean, I'd have a, I wouldn't have a VW Caddy, but you know. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. I apologise. No, I'd have oh a, uh, a, a large Reva. Look to your left. What, BMW? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I'd have a Larder Reva out here. Would you? Yeah. The Cossack Classic. <laughs> Look at us, we're adventuring! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, what is that big blue cable? I saw that cable. On the other place. I think it's spring water. It's, a, it's an amazing picture actually. I think I'm going to take a GH5 of you. Tumbleweed on your foot. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. What the? An enchanted island. Well, just the other side. It's like a sort of a crackle glazed lemon drizzle cake. <laughs> ah, that's what I thought. That's actually where um, lemon drizzle was invented. It was. Yeah. Over because there. Because they got yeah, such yeah, yeah. a high. Yeah, yeah. Well, they've got such a high citrus content uh, and alkaline soil that all the fruits are acidic by nature because well, uh, that's there, how there it are, works. Yeah, there are rumours that the water in these lakes uh, is 67% uh, uh, lemon. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's where the, you know, these new Highland Spring flavoured waters come ah. from. That's where they actually extract it. Natural flavours. Yeah, yeah. And then just in the next bay is the peach and watermelon. Ah. Look at this, ladies Oof. and gentlemen. You do not want to get this wrong. No, although they have kindly put a barrier here for this they one. They have, but you still fit underneath it. You would, yeah. You, and it would probably slice your legs off and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, let's not talk about that. No. Let's talk about the beautiful vista that we have in front of us. The Windows it's Vista. Just, it's honestly, it's, it's... I'm genuinely mind blown. I don't... I haven't seen anything like this before. It's just... Butte. Like the, it's, of course I've seen it. It's the, it's the, it's the consistency and the, and the general, it just mile after mile after mile of just stunning views and stuff to digest. Cheers, love. Yeah, I mean, it's like a screensaver. It's like a desktop yes. image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It 
it's like the same sort of path as the <laughs> alpine routes take like the same sort of twists and turns but on yeah, really yeah, yeah. sketchy <laughs> nagiri roads like a lot of this a lot of adventuring adventure like modern day adventure bike touring can be done on almost any bike right they're all yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. know uh pretty pretty reasonable but th this is really like you want something like we've got here oh 100 um, because you you're going to really struggle in unless you are on something with a, a uh, high ground clearance and um a bit of comfort and pep oh, and cheap, even on cheap, that cheap, They don't really care though, do they? Oh, well, oh, they did. Oh, they yeah. didn't like that, did they? Well, here we are, mate. Welcome to the old inn. You've got to be quite careful, as I said earlier. You've got to be careful about uh, what you book, where you book, because, you know, there are places where you've got miles upon miles without any accommodation. And, of course, uh, there are certain points where uh, places are fully booked and you might go another few 20, 30 miles without any... Uh, Combination. So my adv my advice is book in advance. Don't risk it for a biscuit. And uh, that's going from someone who loves a bit of last minute trip advisor. Yeah, but if you're a proper adventurer, then you'd have a tent. And and out here you can you can sleep wherever you want, can't you? It's a right to roam or something they call it. What do they call it? Right to roam. Yeah. Well, that's your room over there, mate. Made it. That was an, a pretty good day. <laughs> Mate, well done. Well done, well done. What a day in the saddle. What did we do, 145 miles? We did 100, about 160 miles today because we went from Loch Ness rather than Inverness. So a grand day in the saddle, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing how you switch terrain and which bike works best. It's just, and you literally, the, the terrains today have been amazing A roads, like real fast. And all of a sudden you get to a single track and it's, you're, you're jumping. <laughs> and then it's Nagerie. Yeah. And, I, and I've changed. And when I set off this morning, I was like, oh, I want to be in the Multistrada. And then in the, in the really cool pass bit, I was like, oh, I really want to be in the Desert X. And then that last little run down into here, I was like, oh, I'm well yeah. glad I'm on the Multistrada. <laughs> so horses for courses. So uh, anyway, welcome to the, uh, the new inn. The old inn. The oh. new inn is down the road. Oh, that's much, much nicer. Yes, yeah, much yeah. better probably. More expensive as well. But this is lovely. This it's is right, Scotland. 100 quid. Could be worse. The other ones were like 300 quid, 400 yeah. quid. I think pretty much everywhere around here, we had a look, everywhere around here, 250, 350 quid. And there are more, you, know, you can spend 500 quid if you want a nice castle in the mountains somewhere. But um, obviously we're on a budget. So uh, here we are in the old inn. But no, lovely place, lovely staff, very friendly so far. And we'll give you a full rating uh, tomorrow after breakfast. Hmm. I, 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 I want to eat Scottish tonight. Well, I'm going to go starter and main tonight. Oh, are we, you? We've, we've earned it. Wow. I didn't eat breakfast anyway, so uh, in a bid to reduce morbid obesity, so. Yeah. I d yeah, well, anyway, that's the way it goes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. maybe yeah. A, 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 ha a Ein Haggis. Ein Haggis? I don't know. That's chopped up entrails and stuff, isn't it? Mm. The lot. I'll give it a go. I don't even know what Scottish cuisine is, really. Anyway, let's find out. Cheers, mate. Well done. On to the next one. Coming next on Riders Digest, we continue to explore the west coast of Scotland, stop in the ancient port of Ulyapool, and digest some local deep fried aquatic delights before finally locating the bridge that Bob Geldof helped to build during Live Aid and settle in to the Scourie Hotel.